October 4, 1951, a 31-year-old black woman named Henrietta Lacks died in pain at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. She was buried without fanfare, but her cells taken without her knowledge would live forever. Months earlier, Henrietta had gone to Hopkins after giving birth to her fifth child. She felt a strange lump inside her. The doctors examined her, took samples from her cervix, and diagnosed stage 1 cervical cancer. But without her consent, they sent part of her tumor to a researcher named Dr. George Otto Guy. What he discovered would transform modern medicine. Henrietta's cells didn't die they multiplied. Infinitely. These Hella cells, named after her initials, became the first immortal human cell line in history. They were used to create the polio vaccine to study cancer, cloning, gene mapping, even in vitro fertilization. Today, billions of her cells exist in laboratories across the world yet for decades. Her own family never received recognition or compensation. Henrietta Lacks never gave permission, but her body gave science one of its greatest breakthroughs. She turned pain into progress and though her life was stolen, her legacy became immortal. Like, share, and subscribe for more true stories of black brilliance history tried to erase.